Back in vert mode, if you have two or more vertices selected, Smart Edge will do a path connect, otherwise map to the J key. And while I don't use it much anymore, in the past I've often found it useful to guide a modifier bevel with support edges. Sometimes, maybe related to non-planar faces, the modifier bevel would produce odd behavior next to n-gons. Usually these issues could then be tamed by doing what I coined a star connect. First select a row of vertices in the corner, then a vert opposite, and Smart Edge will create individual cuts to this last active vert. This can also be helpful for cleanup or getting models game ready. In edge mode, if you have two or more non-manifold edge or edge loop selections, and you invoke Smart Edge, it will do a bridge. You can then adjust the number of cuts and the kind of blending in the redo panel too. Also, this is new and will be available in an upcoming release. But if you have a single cyclic non-manifold edge loop, then Smart Edge will do a grid fill instead. Finally, if you have loose geometry, separate from the rest of the mesh, and you have all of it selected, then invoking Smart Edge will do a knife projection cut. This works for faces too, of course. Duplicate a few, modify and position as you need to, and project it into the mesh. This can be pretty cool also if you want to bring an outer edge loop into the inner mesh. Not the best example here, but I think you get it. And you can then connect these as well, which I'm doing via SmartVert.